What's going on out there, YouTubers? Up next, Shark here with another new video just for you. So let's get right into this video and see what it's about. So welcome to an all new video there out there in YouTube land, Twitterville, Twittersphere, and all of the wonderful social media platforms. Welcome to another video, guys. So this video is a tribute video to the late great actor, Mr. Rutger Howard. Now, Rutger Howard, you might recognize from a slew of films over the years. He's been a huge actor that's done a ton of films, uh, mostly played bad guys. He's done some good guys, uh, but mostly he's known for playing very decent uh, villains in films. Now, a couple of films I'm going to be talking about a uh, you know, in the life of Mr. Rutger Hauer, and I'm also going to be talking about a few things that some people might not know about him. So a lot of people probably don't know that he actually got his stage debut in 1969 with a TV series called Flores. That's right, Flores. So Flores was actually a TV show over in his native land that was actually directed by Paul Verhoeven, who we recognize as the director of like such films as Robocop, Basic Instinct, and so forth. And I thought that was kind of interesting uh, that that's where he got his first actual stage start was on, you know, TV show. Uh, because he actually didn't end up making his American debut till 1981 with the film called Nighthawks uh, that starred Sylvester Stallone in it, which I thought was quite interesting as well. But a lot of people don't realize is his actual film debut was of a film that came out in 1973 that was directed by Paul Verhoeven. And that, of course, is a film called Turkish Delight. Now, if you're not familiar with Turkish Delight, it's considered one of the greatest Dutch films of all time. Uh, but at the same time, it's kind of a love story film along with uh, a very NC-17 feel to it. It's very much like a very erotic, almost like Showgirls or... Uh, you know, films like that, it's one, It's a very graphic film for its time, and I think that's probably one of the reasons why it's considered such a great time, you know, film, because they did get away with so much back in filming this film in 1973. But he really got his recognition starring in that film as the main love interest of the, the actress that was in the film. So that kind of started his career, and then that kind of led to him getting Nighthawks uh, over here in 1981. Now, another awesome fact I found out about Mr. Rutger Hauer was that he actually had uh, his very first like acting debut at the age of 11 uh, in a stage play, actually, uh, that he did when he was 11 years old. So I thought that was kind of a cool little factoid for you that he actually you know, started very young, actually, and that probably that's not something that a lot of people you know, uh, realize. Now, unfortunately, you know, the reason why I'm doing a tribute video for Rutger Hauer is that unfortunately he passed away back in the middle of the month, uh, you, you know, from a very short illness, they said. Uh, nothing else has come out, but, I mean, he all of a sudden just croaked, basically, which I thought that was very sad. Uh, another interesting coincidence, though, is if, you've, if you're a fan of the film Blade Runner, which he also starred in as the main villain, he actually passed away the film character in 2019 in the film because that's when the film was taking place and and then the actual Rutger Howard dies in 2019 coincidence that's so weird so weird but very interesting that that time frame that exact same year his character dies in the film he dies in real life but that was kind of an interesting uh coincidence there but very interesting uh you know some people might you know think a little bit more into that but me I'm just like that's just interesting that that both happened at the same time uh very interesting though very different and decent uh uh take on that whole situation because at the same time you're kind of like going what am i having deja vu or something or am i like going a little crazy i i don't know you never know so another great film that Rutger Howard was a part of that I think is a fantastic movie that came out in 1985 is a great film that starred Michelle Pfeiffer and a very young Matthew Broderick. And that, of course, is a film called Lady Hawk. Now, if you're not familiar with Lady Hawk, it's basically a fantasy film that Rutger Howard plays actually a good guy in this film. And he actually plays kind of the uh, uh, holder of... Michelle Pfeiffer's character, who actually is a woman that turns into an actual hawk. 
and you see him throughout the film, you know, with her on his hand, this hawk, and that's Michelle Pfeiffer's character, which I thought was kind of interesting. It's kind of along the lines of, like, never-ending story and, uh, you know, legend that starred Tom Cruise and stuff like that. It was just a really great performance that Riker Howard performed, and I thought he was really good in it. I really enjoyed his characterization of the character, and I really enjoyed his, just his performance all, all in all over that film. And I just think it was a really fun film. Now, another great film that Riker Howard was in that was a big success and made him known as a great villain was, of course, the awesome film that came out in 1986 called The Hitcher. Yeah, The Hitcher, people. Oh, yeah. So The Hitcher, if you're not familiar with it, is a horror film where Rutger Howard plays the main bad guy character who is this hitchhiker, basically. He grabs a ride with people and then kills them, basically. It's a fantastic film that was actually remade in the early 2000s with Sophia Bush. And I thought that the remake was really good, too, as well. But this original with Rutger Howard, he was such an amazing villain in the character, uh, you know, in the film, and just did a really fantastic job. Uh, very... Uh, you know, at the time it was a very different type of villain and he really gave it a great approach and gave it this great characteristic that, you know, really made it permanent in people's minds of, you know, how good of a villain he can be and also of this new type of villain and, you know, what some uh, real world reality could be a person that would could do this because there have been serial killers that have done similar things. So I thought that Riker Howard really brought to life that realness of that character and just made a really fantastic film. If you haven't seen The Hitcher, definitely check it out uh, to give tribute to the great late Riker Howard. Another great film that Mr. Riker Howard was in was an awesome film that came out in 2005 and that was the beginning of an awesome new Batman trilogy that starred the awesome Christian Bale. And that, of course, is the film called Batman Begins. Now, if you're not familiar with Batman Begins, basically it gives us kind of the story of how Batman becomes Batman, basically. Uh, we get this new story, introduction to Raj Ghoul. Uh, we get this whole introduction into, you know, where Batman is at, who, like, g given a real-world perspective and so forth. And Record Howard actually plays um, kind of a kind of a villain in the film, but not really, like, the main villain uh, of Wayne Enterprises in the film. And he was really fantastic as the character because he's really evil. And at the same time, you're just kind of like, you're kind of like, oh, okay, I kind of get where he's going. But at the same time, it's like, what's that evil little glimpse in his eye? And, you know, just Rutger did an amazing job portraying that character. And I just thought this was a really great role that I don't feel he got enough credit for how great of a role it was even though it wasn't a huge part it still was really memorable in batman begins and gave us this really fantastic uh portrayal of this character really great performance if you haven't seen batman begins yet or if you have seen it and don't remember record how in it definitely check it out again people see his performance it was really fantastic now another great film that he was in that i really enjoyed and thought was another great role that i wish he would have gotten more credit for was the awesome 1992 uh, based on comic book film that was just really well done, really fun, and I ha thought had a great cast from the late, great Luke Perry to Christy Swanson in the film. And that, of course, is a film called The Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, yeah. So if you're a huge fan of the Sarah, Miguel Sarah Michelle Geller show, this was like the movie that kind of started it off before that show really got going. And I thought Christy Swanson was a really fantastic Buffy. I really enjoyed her in it. And Rucker Howard actually plays the main antagonist or bad guy in the film. And I really enjoyed his character in this because it was kind of a villain with a little bit of a comedy edge. And I absolutely loved that. And I loved that we got to see a little bit more of Rucker's, uh, you know, acting bravado. And just how he could, you know, give this kind of like a serious performance, but at the same time give us a, that comedy element along with it. And be this like serious bad guy in this kind of comedy action, comedy, you know, horror type of film. And I just thought he did a really great job. And definitely, it's definitely a role, if you're a Riker Howard fan at all, you should have seen. And definitely, if you're going to do a tribute, you know, viewing party, definitely add this to your collection to watch with, uh, to see that awesome performance. Really well done performance, and uh, he was so fantastic. And i got to watch it soon. Such a great movie. So a few other cool factoids about the awesome Riker Howard. 
Now, one thing a lot of people didn't know, or some people might have known, that he was actually a huge environmentalist, and he was big into helping out with environment things. And also, he was a big contributor to the awesome Sea Shepherd Society, which helps conserve uh, sea animals and stuff like that, and keeps people from fishing them and all that kind of cool stuff. So I thought that was a really cool factoid about him, that he was big into the environment and tried to save things. And, you know, that he had such a great heart on him, you know, even... You know, even though he was this, like, big movie star, he still had all that courage to, you know, pursue things that really helped that. Another interesting fact was that he actually started an AIDS foundation, too, as well. That was called the Rutger Howard Foundation, basically. And that, you know, helped, you know, AIDS awareness and helped people with AIDS and so forth. And I thought that was a really cool thing, too, as well, that he supported, uh, you know, to help in such a time of, you know, need back during the early to late 80s to early 90s when it was such a big rampant thing. And, you know, it was just a new thing that we were learning about, which I think is really awesome too as well. But I would like to finish this off, this awesome tribute with my very favorite movie of his. I absolutely love this movie. I think it's his best role ever uh, that he performed. It's such an amazing miniseries that was on uh, ABC during the awesome year of 2000. And that, of course, is his awesome role as the Huntsman in The Tenth Kingdom. Oh, yeah. Absolutely love this film. It's such an amazing film. And Rucker Howard's, you know, character in it as the Huntsman was so awesome and so perfect. He was, like, so good at being this character. He had a great persona to him. He had a great, uh, you know, just eye. And his interactions with everyone was really awesome and really well done. Just a really great performance by him and one of my mm -hmm. favorites. Uh, if you haven't seen Tenth Kingdom People, definitely check it out. It's worth a watch. Really amazing. Uh, and one of the greatest, best uh, films, uh, miniseries of times. Such a great film. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it, people. So that's it for this tribute video, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. And also, thank you for subscribing. If it's your first time here, if you've been here before and you haven't hit that subscribe button, come on, people. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss this awesome video or any awesome videos I put up. And as always, people, keep your eyes out for any older, newer videos you might not have seen mine yet. And as always, people, check out the awesome Horror Pack, where you can get four awesome Blu-rays or DVDs right to your door every month for a great low price. And if that really interests you and you like, you're a huge horror fan, go ahead and click, click that link down below. It'll take you to the site. You'll get a discount on your first box, which is awesome, people. Definitely check it out, people. It's really awesome. And as, as always, like I said, people, check out the awesome Stardust app, too, as well, which is a really awesome free little app that does contests and trailer reviews and all kinds of cool stuff and, you know, between 4 to 30 second little videos, which is really awesome. Kind of similar to how Vine was, I feel. It's about similar to that, but it's about movie reviews, TV shows, trailers, and all that kind of cool stuff. So definitely check that out, too, people. And as always, people, I'm doing a giveaway right now. If you are a part of the next couple that come to... The 175 mark, you will be entered in contest to win an awesome free digital code. So please, check that out, people. And definitely do that. And subscribe, people. Oh, yeah. And as always, people, catch you in the next one.